This is a short presentation on how to create a structured matrix report. For starters, uh, we've got a worksheet open. And in cell D5, we have a date range from July 07 to June 08. And we want to insert a structured matrix query into the document. Before I begin, I have to make sure that I'm in designer mode. I can then click the structured matrix function from the Atlas ribbon bar. That opens up the Atlas task pane along the right hand margin. I want to make sure that I am uh, using the customer invoice journal table. I want to then go to the uh, filters tab. And from the Filters tab, I want to select the date row and choose Pick. And I want to pick the dates in D5. So I click OK. My cell reference is now pointing to D5 for the filter date. I then want to take a look at my outputs. My default fields appear. I've decided that I don't want to use all of the defaults, so I click the Report Columns node. I then click the Add Remove Fields button. That pops up a window that I can open up. And let's just say theoretically here that uh, I don't want to use Invoice Account. I don't want to use Date. I don't want to use Invoice. And I don't want to use Voucher. And I don't want to use Invoice Amount. Okay. However, I have decided that from the available fields list, I'm interested in using a field called the sales subtotal amount in the accounting currency. I'm going to tick that field. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. Sorry. That adds the field to my field list. I want to also choose a field called invoicing name. N-V-O-I. I can do a partial search. I can expand my search a little bit further. And there is invoicing name. I'm going to click OK. And that will paste invoicing name into my query. Okay. What I want to do is click to select the currency, right click it, and choose Add Column Basis. This is what distinguishes a matrix report from a summary report. When the column basis of currency is chosen, notice that a new node appears in my query. The currency is now separated out. When I click Insert, if you insert this query and create a matrix report, what I'll have is the currency spread across columns on the right hand side of this report. The currency here is the column basis so the information that's displayed from left to right in the middle columns is what a matrix report is all about. You've got a customer account, sales order, invoicing name, and these fields here are the currency spread over a number of columns. So in a nutshell, that's what a matrix report is all about. I can also click within the body of the table, go up the, to the design tab, and choose another report color scheme if I would like. And of course the important portion of this document is the sales amount, sales subtotal amount and accounting currency which appears along the right hand side. So there you have a demonstration of a simple matrix report.